Xbox has announced that Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 is coming to the Xbox family of devices. And it looks like developers finally have it in their hands and they can start messing around with what this technology can do for, for their consoles. Let's talk about this story and why it's gonna be a good thing for games. Thank you so much for watching everybody. While I have you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when my content goes live. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day. So real quick, uh, this, this tweet from Jason basically said the following, excited to continue to partner with AMD and GPU Open to provide the latest techniques and graphics performance to game developers on both Xbox and PC. FSR two samples are now included with the GDX GDKX for Xbox developers and GPU open the the person he quote tweeted said we are very excited to provide Fidelity FX super resolution 2 to Xbox developers FSR 2 can be found in the most recent GDKX samples building cross platform for Xbox Series X and S Xbox one and Windows desktop many thanks to Microsoft for this continued collaboration exciting stuff because new technology for game designers means uh, better quality games for everybody, really, and especially with Xbox releasing games on both console and PC. I, I am stoked to see what that is all about. Uh, you might be asking, what is FSR 2.0? So basically, what, what this video is showing, it's Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 running in Death Deathloop. This is 1.0 with ray tracing. This is 2.0 with ray tracing. And what, what you should note is it's smooth, right? It's smooth. Uh, it's a negligible difference. And uh, 4K native is just hugely taxing. What FSR is going to allow developers to do is push more at you and have less of a resource hog that native 4K would. It's, it's basically similar to what DLSS is able to do and a lot of these other Pro processes that allow games to run better. And that was just a teaser from Fidelity, sort of explaining what can happen here. And then continuing, here, here's a little bit of a description from Windows Central. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 FSR2 is an upscaling technology that produces sharper images from comparatively lower resolution scenes. Scaling technology like FSR and NVIDIA DLSS have become increasingly popular since the tech allows you to get crisper images without sacrificing frame rates. So you can play, for you, what's going to look like native 4K60 at a locked 60 frames per second without a loss in quality. And you get a better gaming experience at the end of the day. And that's really, really exciting for me as a, as a gamer because it means you're gonna get this super crisp image. You're gonna get smoother frame rate. Like when I played through Cyberpunk on PC, I ended up using DLSS. It was one of the first games where I did that. And it was, it was amazing because that game really pushes the tech to the limits breaking itself on older generation consoles it did so so poorly <laughs> but uh on a beefy pc cyberpunk was was quite the spectacle to enjoy and i liked it quite a bit they continue if you're dedicating compute compute to intensive graphic features like ray tracing lighting and shadows fsr2 and dlss help you reclaim some overall resolution fidelity using super sampling technology it also helps improve performance on lower end hardware, since you can move more resources over to maintaining frame rates with super sampling, putting in some heavy lifting to improve visuals. You might remember I made a video all about Gears of War uh, over for IGN and uh, Gears of War actually uses a technique where they only render parts of the screen that are required for the best experience possible for the flavor, for the player and then like things behind you, things at the edges are rendered at a lower resolution. It's a continuation of that type of technology, right? Variable rate shading is what, what I'm referring to. So now we have Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 and it's gonna be really exciting to see what developers are able to do with this tech. Uh, here's the blog post actually from over at DigiTrends. AMD FSR, Fidelity FS, everything you need to know. So what is it? Basically, so here's Riftbreaker, 
Native 4K, you're getting 92 frames per second. Here's quality mode at 1440. That's, that's your input resolution. You're getting 179 frames per second, right? With no or negligible loss to image quality. And then here is FSR upscaling passes. Again, negligible loss. And it's comparable to what you would get at native 4K Ultra with ray tracing on. These are ray tracing on. So this is FSR quality mode. And this is advanced edge reconstruction algorithm recreates source image at high resolution, sharpening further improves, improves quality by enhancing texture detail. FSR is AMD's answer to, the, to NVIDIA's DLSS. Like DLSS, FSR is a super sampling feature that makes the game look like it's rendering at a higher resolution than it really is. So the engine may render the game at 1080p, and then FSR steps in to fill in the missing pixels and make it look like a 1440p output. So again, this is the sort of technology, which is why I don't put a lot of stock in ray tracing. Ray tracing is a gimmick in my, <laughs> like, it's gorgeous. It's really, really cool when it works, but it's subtle. It's a subtle thing that adds a lot. And there's new technologies like the tech being used in Unreal Engine 5 that allows you to accomplish the same thing and be less intensive. There is There are things like DLSS and FSR that allow ray tracing to be turned on and be utilized in a, a much better manner that is less intensive. And I'm really, really excited about what that means for the future of gaming because it means we're going to get better games that are less intense for people. And here, here's the for developers, I should say, to make and for us to consume. So here's what the official blog post actually said about it. Upsize performance and maximize fidelity in support of games. And they talk about the first year. So here's, the, here's their plan for what's going to go on with FSR 1 and 2. So June 10th, 2022, more upcoming FSR 2.0 and available FSR 1.0 games announced. It's the anniversary of FSR available and upcoming in 110 games. FSR 2.0 released on GPU open for devs. FSR 2.0 launched in Deathloop and additional upcoming games announced. And these are the previous dates. So if you look, FSR 1.0 launched and was available in seven games last year in 2021. Some notable games that use FSR were made in Unreal Engine 4. So the FSR 1.0 Unreal Engine 4 plugin was released in November. And then in, in March, FSR 2.0 reveal for Deathloop. And now here we are, it's out, it's available for devs. So we are really gonna start seeing things pay off for developers who have been utilizing this technology. On the Xbox side, um, I'm not sure which games have used it off the top of my head, but on the PlayStation side, one of the games that were notable uh, was for Spoken. Here are games upcoming that use FSR 2.0. There it is, For Spoken right there. Uh, Hitman 3, God of War used it. The Callisto Protocol is going to be using it. That's a multi-platform title. What else we got on here that is notable? Flight Simulator used it. Here has, these all have FSR 1.0. Assetto Corsa, competitive racing game. Call of Duty Vanguard had it. And Call of Duty Vanguard looked gorgeous. Like, no matter what you say about that game, that game was a very, very pretty game. Uh, Ghost Runner used it. Far Cry 6. Ghostwire Tokyo. Ghost Runner and Ghostwire. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice utilized it. And I believe Senua's Sacrifice 2 will also use it. And then there's all these games with FSR 1.0 that are going to be utilizing this technology. So it's available for developers now. There's a ton of support for it. Asobo, Crystal Dynamics, Obsidian, Nixies on the PlayStation side of things. Just look at all these, look at all these companies that are going to be utilizing this technology. It's going to be great for everybody. It's a really, really exciting time. And Xbox Game Studios down there. Where's PlayStation on here? I, I believe PlayStation is not listed, but the other companies are. I made this mistake in the other video. Somebody's like, the PlayStation logo is right there. So I know PlayStation. Yeah, there it is. PlayStation Studios. I knew they were on there. But that's a lot of companies using the tech, right? So there's PlayStation. There's Xbox. And everybody else, all the big players in the industry are going to be using this tech. It's really, really exciting. And uh, games are about to look a whole lot prettier. Thanks so much for watching. 
Are you excited about any FSR 2.0 games? I think the one I'm most excited about and have been for a while is definitely Forspoken. That game looks slick. So let me know what you're excited to see using this technology. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to know when these videos go live. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to become a member, memberships are turned on. Thank you so much to all of the members. I greatly appreciate you supporting this channel. If you want to become one, you can click that join button right there at the bottom. Thank you to everybody who helps out. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.